Hi everyone, so today we'll be doing another book review and this is entitled Dark Things I Adore. This is written by Katie Latari. I hope you enjoy my review. You're gonna hit the like, subscribe, and of course the bell to notified every single time I do upload a new video. All my social media accounts, including where you can get this, will be in the description section, so do check that out. Also, this is the first book that I've ever read from the author. Um, so let's see. Um, if you're new to my channel, especially my book reviews, what I do is I give you information from goodies.com and then I'm going to give you my take on it. So this is rated 3.62 out of 5 stars and it says a psychological thriller for fans of Lucy Foley and Liz Moore Dark Things I Adore is a stunning Gone Girl, Gone Girl-esque tale of atonement that proves that in the grasp of, uh, of manipulative men, women may momentarily fall, but in the hands of fierce women, men will be brought to their knees. Three campfire secrets, two witnesses, one dead in the trees, and the woman 30 years later bent on making the guilty finally pay. 1988, a group of outcasts gather at a small prestigious art, arts camp nestled in the Maine woods. They're the painters, bright, hopeful, teeming with potential, but secrets and dark ambitions rise like smoke from a campfire, and the truth they tell will come back to haunt them in ways more deadly than they dreamed. 2018, esteemed art professor Ma Max Durant arrives at his protege's remote home to view her graduate thesis collection. He knows Audra is beautiful and brilliant. He knows being invited into her private world is a rare gift, but he doesn't know that Audra has engineered every aspect of their weekend together. Every detail, every conversation, Audra has woven the perfect web. Only Audra knows what happened that summer in 1988. Max's secret and the dark things that followed. And even though it won't be easy, Audra knows that someone must pay. A searing thriller of trauma, dark academia, complicity, and revenge, Dark Things I Adore unravels the rea realities behind campfire legends, the horrors that happen in the dark, the girls who become cautionary tales, and the guilty who go unpunished until now. So, um, <clears throat> Genres belong to would be a thriller, fiction, mystery, mystery, thriller, adult, psychological thriller, suspense, dark, adult fiction, contemporary. Just to let you know, um, when I got this, this is due to, let me see, the, this is recommended due to a different book that I was looking at, and I want to check out why. Okay, so whatever was recommended, no, I went to like, um, I went to the Goodreads um, list of I think either mystery thriller or psychological thriller or suspense or just thriller or mystery as I was looking for ideas and more books in this kind of um, genre or genres to acquire and this was one of those on the list and I got it because I'm looking at the recommendations or like readers also enjoyed and I don't know if I have any of these books and if I do, I haven't read any of them yet, so I do not believe it is because of that. I believe it's because of the list. Um, I don't even know if I read this ever, like the 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 synopsis of it, before I um, or the the you know the, the description of the book before I got the book. I just thought it was rated okay, you know, three point. I usually prefer like a four rating. But sometimes there are certain uh, reviewers can be really brutal and unkind and just, um, I think, unfair. So sometimes I do go for threes. Um, usually 3.5 would be the lowest I would do because I have tried lower than 3.5 and it was really a painful read. So this is actually, this was actually very good. It's very dark. It's very mysterious. It's very like, it it became kind of like, uh, it became a certain point like it was hard to just let it go and not finish the book or the chapter because it was like I wanted to know what's going on. Like how are these things woven together if it's even connected at all? Because like I said before, I don't know if I re read this and if I did, I forgot all about it or didn't think about it because usually when I purchase a book, I, I either just get it or I read this part, and if it's rated really well, whatever. Um, if I do read the summary or the, the description of the book, I usually wait a few weeks until I don't really think about it anymore, and I kind of don't remember what it's about, and then I read it, I, and then I start reading it. So 
it's just I, I prefer to read my books or watch my shows and my movies um, with a fresh um, set of mind and eyes and to not really have any kind of bias in them and that's what I did with this and so this is definitely a thriller uh, mystery thriller and this will be a spoiler so if you don't like it you might either stop or just fast forward this is somewhat of a revenge situation I was hoping for it I did I expect it there, there were times where it was like maybe but maybe not um definitely a good read and um yeah this was i recommend it completely i would rate this a 4.5 out of five stars and a two thumbs up highly recommend if there are other books that you guys might believe i'm gonna enjoy because i really really want to acquire more psychological thrillers mystery thrillers um suspense thrillers thriller mystery you know all those kind of um genres those genres particularly please let me know in the comment section below and again i hope you want to connect with me in my other social media accounts they're all in the description section including where you can get this so do check that out i hope you enjoyed that you do not forget to hit the like subscribe and of course the bell so you're notified every single time i do upload a new video thank you everyone for the wonderful words and the love and support and i will see you again next time bye